Ronnie Morgan over at Ted's here, using our backup camera. I don't know where the camera is in Teddy's sleep. Looks like Alex has really done a <laughs> wonderful job of cleaning. The kitchen is looking beautiful. Look at this, look at this. Bachelor pad no longer. Wait, still a little remnants, but uh, dish rack. Shipping operations are underway. That's brand, just doing it. Almost everything is done. Everything else is packaged. And in the next hour and a half, two hours, all of these are going to the post office. Everyone's gonna have their shit out first day. Let's check in with the shoe room first. Before I turn into motherfucking Santa Claus. Oh shit, I'm turning my bag. Bagging shit up? Yep. This is a great, I wish they could see this tripod. You're using a $1,200 sample as a fucking tripod. Each package handled with care and love from us to you. Hey, it's Gage Falcone, hey, my cousin. Falcone here. <laughs> That's amazing. I wish my name was Falcone. He's actually a criminal in the early Batman series, Ernesto Falcone. Could have been me. He would be Brandy Falcone. Hey, hey, big booty Brandy Falcone. Going on. Tony Falcone is what I would name that kid. Hey, it's little Tony Falcone. Hey. What? Oh, hammock life. Yeah, let me in. Oh, yeah, I convinced her to move it. Fall out of that hammock, you're gonna hit your back on that and it's gonna break. It's gonna be over. Fall out of that hammock where it is right there, I'm not taking you to the hospital. Finally moved it here, which makes way more sense. This is great. We need one of these, Bran. Oh, yeah, except there's like fucking bugs in here and shit. Yeah, I'm good on this. There's some like porno term or some weird, like a blue waffle or something. It's always bringing it up online, so it's funny when you said purple waffle. Can I get comfortable? Blue Waffle is a fictional, sexually transmitted infection that's believed to turn the vagina blue and disfigure it. <laughs> One of my streams was like, you ever hear of a Blue Waffle dog? Going to get your back fixed some more? I hope so. It feels kind of worse again today. That sucks. We're going to cop some bud. Hey. Mail some packages. Teddy, you were so right. That, flat, that tree blew in all sorts of different colors. Oh, hold on, hold on. Back that stands up. You were so right. I love the way that sounds. I just didn't so know. I want to shower. All the time. I want to no, shower. Like and never hear your I want right. to no, no, stand under a waterfall. But Teddy, you are right. Let it cascade upon me for the rest of my life. What is the name of this waterfall? Oh, Teddy, you're right. Falls. Oh. I've never seen it. Yeah. Drop it. Yes. Yes. Good man. Drop it. Yes. Yes. Good man. Drop it. Yes. Oh, 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 oh! Back it up. Back it up there, buddy. Oh. That ain't no normal scout. This piece of the stab in the gut. She's battling the fish. <laughs> oh, I don't even remember what I drew last time. It's just high. Oh. Dude, it's coming for your soul. Like, time's up, but I like that. Oh, shit, what do we got? Oh, yeah, don't even try it. Seriously. Oh, okay. so it's an escape artist these days. Why don't you go do fucking nap artistry? Moving around the big stuff. It's like a real trap house, dog. We're just out. Yeah. <laughs> just just happens head, to dog. be legal product. Now times have changed. Post office dispensary. Is there an animal in the middle of yeah. that? Yeah. Fuck that puppy. Animal in the middle of yeah. that? Yeah, oh. squirrel. I wasn't gonna hit him. I saw it. Can you say puppy for me real quick? Puppy. No, no. It was a puppy. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hit it. No, now you have the whole thing. No, oh, no. Fuck that puppy. In the back here, dog. Dead all access shit. Surprise! Happy Monday, motherfuckers. Ernie Claus. The fucking elf who grew up and took over the fuck operation. Okay. What happened was Santa came down with an illness. Mrs. Claus and me, we had a little thing, a little thing going down. Ernie the elf. We need you to graduate. Ernie's the keepler elf. Hickory dickory dock. Mrs. Claus is on my. Block your whole trucking. Now where you going? Oh. Where? The super crusher theory. Oh, I'm out. I'll be back. Here we go. I'm gonna digitally put in a fly and catch it. We're dropping off all these orders, son. No pickups. No pickups. Drop off. So everything is shipped. Nerve battle zone. Are we gonna and do that today? We could. I don't. Let's go. I don't know. If open. I really want to do paintball though, dude. Wait, you can't go in because your card expired? No, it didn't expire uh, yet, but it is. But I just don't have it on me. I was hoping maybe sometimes I shove it in my wallet. It's in your glove box at one point. 
Yeah. There's a jar of weed in there. That's from you. Yeah. Isn't that great? Be like, I found weed in his car. The best part of being in Colorado is that there's like no problem with having a little dash. Yes, officer, that's my little head stash. You wanna back the fuck up off yeah. me? Before you get your sweater wet? The yep. fuck? I could probably son. Light up while they give you a speeding ticket out here. We don't give a fuck. And I realized I went back last night, showed it to Brandy. I'm the only person that yeah. liked it. And I'm just like, fuck, man, like he seems like a cool kid. Sure, he seems like his head's on right. But here's the thing, I'm glad I'm gonna use this because today I tweeted uh someone was talking about losing subs and losing followers and this, that, and the third. And you know, I tweeted, I was like, you know what? Losing subs on YouTube means that people aren't aren't digesting free content. Yeah. Like, why the fuck do you care? Like, I'm confident in the fact that this is the funniest thing on the entire platform, right? If I'm confident in that and I believe that that's all that I really need yeah. everything else is a bonus people keeps people are always gauging shit by numbers now and like how many likes did this get how many followers do I have and they never want to see those numbers go down because in their head they're like oh man like what what did I do to not to get just as people. much attention and that's really detrimental to your soul the the basis of all this shit needs to be and before I ever got any followers or like whatever what do you go scroll back in my Instagram I got shit with 12 likes like whatever yeah but before any of that you know I talked to other tattooers who would spend fucking 20 years on a tattoo and, and get seven like yeah you're like, what the fuck bro you can't gauge your worth off of that you can't gauge your worth or your work's worth off of, of likes. likes based off of you don't even know who's seen it it's fucking insane so you're just worth more everything you do is worth more than that little like digital readout it doesn't mean anything that's because like you throw something up on a platform and it also, doesn't go out to anybody of the right people or the, the people that like it don't happen to see it because it only it, exactly it, it's like it's so random yeah it's so random with so many variables and then you're sitting there like wait what what there's algorithms there's all this other shit yeah let's just like forget all that bullshit pretend that none of that even exists let's say you're an artist and you've and you've done a painting whatever you feel you feel fine about it. you love your work you're confident in your work and you take it to let's say uh, a sports arena and everyone that comes in the door has to give you an opinion about it one way or the other whether you like it or dislike it you have to hit a red or a green button yeah so now you have I don't know how many people fit in an arena let's say 60,000 okay yeah. shit I'm, I got big dreams. 60 is like a football field okay that's arena. what I'm talking about yeah. 60 grand 60k 60k yeah. people if it's 60% likes and 40% dislikes like, does that mean does it's, that, that you're good now? Yeah, does that is that okay? What if it's the other way? Does that mean you're shit? Sometimes feedback isn't too much feedback's yeah. not good. You don't need that. You can't get your worth from that shit, man. Like it's I ugh, it's the worst. I mostly in tattooing, right. see really good tattooers get bummed out because they're like, I don't even get a hundred likes on this photo and they're all bummed. I'm like, dude, someone is walking around with a fucking sick tattoo on their arm. It doesn't matter how many fucking people digitally fucking double click a button. Five hundred people will tell him they like it on his arm. As the artist, you may never get to hear it, yeah. but it doesn't mean that your shit isn't being appreciated. Exactly. Everywhere he goes, people are liking it in yeah. real life and like enjoying it. it. Yeah, I yeah, know. And the real shit is, is how many people just how many people are like whores? How many like likes are you getting that the people don't really like it at all? If likes cost a dollar, yeah. nobody would be getting shit. Or you just were limited to likes per day. Like you get yeah. five likes a day. Yeah. You want to like, better yeah. fucking Every like Every other time it. you like, gotta pay up, it's a new yeah. pay service. Or you like story. It a Do not gauge your work over fucking numbers. Yeah. God damn it. It's imaginary. I promise. I feel just as important today felt 10 years ago before likes even existed yeah. I've been a cocky son of a bitch sorry mom honestly if if there's one interaction it's just talking to people and like making that's and what i, I said mean, today and too. i don't mean that bullshit engagement like no. the asking questions the key to social media is to be fucking social be socially fun hey i got jokes yeah kais you want to ask be, about what a whoa. cat means answer me when i answer you whoa shots fired being social and arguing isn't social some people's only social media presence is fighting about politics i wonder why i don't get any likes when i post my fucking burrito it's, bitch you just pissed everybody off yeah. talking about politics yeah. for three weeks no, my friends don't show up in my house and then just kick open the door and they start being like did you hear yeah. about donald trump and his blue stripe yeah then 10 minutes later there's some poem about you and your cat now you're really sad but it's hard for me to feel bad about it. what are we doing yes, out here I, I went the wrong way believe it or not we're just in a parking lot yeah so as far as shoes go my kind of guises have shipped and my pharrells are lost Nice. Yeah. We don't. Um, wait, it's September 1st. Something comes out that I want. There's some really cool Speed Factory stuff coming in the future. They're doing the Speed Factory Limited. Serena. No. It's the Billie Jean King. Yeah, Billie Jean mm. is not my. Billie Jean King. It's this all. The whole thing is to rally around girls' athletics, but she. She was a female tennis. Player. Inspired by those I wore in the Battle of the Sexes, but I don't know what the Battle of the Sexes is as a tennis match. I'm gonna look it up when we get inside. So I'm interested now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh. I didn't know anything about this. I guess that was a movie that they made. The Battle of the Sex is a term that has been used to describe various exhibition match play between a man and a woman. The most famously, the term is used for a nationally televised match in 73 in Houston at the Astrodome between Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean King, which King won in three sets. The shoe she wore, that new AM, it's called the AM for Billy King, I believe. <coughs> but it's also the whole, the whole marketing behind it is to keep girls playing sports because girls get way less funding for sports. Girls are more likely to quit sports. Because things it like never that. turns pro. Well, certain things do, like tennis. But less. Like I mean, even you were saying snowboard women were less. No. Uh, less um, deserving than men. No, I no, I never said that. But I, I guess there's like women's NBA now and stuff. Yeah, but that doesn't get any funding either. It's because they can't dunk like them dudes, like a snowboard. Just kidding, I said that to be stupid, dude. But you're running a brand. What you want to start with is color damage. This is my new profile pic. I'm going to sleep out here when Alex is being an asshole. Natty Rims is closing. I'm trying to figure out how to get him. I'm trying to figure out how to get him. Well, there's a new one I've got to get. Tea time. Tea kettle? This? No. It's a nice kitchen. Thanks. I know, isn't it? Wow. Is, are these all titty shoes? Yes, they are. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Which pair do you think is your favorite? At first sight, I think these. Oh, you've never seen my shoe. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Teddy, these are all your shoes. Yeah. Well, this isn't all of them. He has more than these. Yeah. Teddy, I like that. I like that pair. I like that pair too. It's yeah, I can... Where's the rest of your shoes? <laughs> You're There's some downstairs, but not a lot. This is most of them. Do you just wear a different shoe every day? Sometimes. Sometimes I wear the same shoe. You have those shoe really cool feet. Did they're... you put these shelves yeah, in? Yeah. They're from Ikea. Yeah, this looks like a shoe store. Yeah, it looks better than I a thought, shoe store. I know. It's not a shoe it's store, it looks as good. A shoe closet. Yeah. You know, Childhood mine's a dream is what it is. Dream. It's not that many of that, really. Well, if I'll... But you used to, Teddy. Yeah, Most right. people never have those many shoes in their whole life. It's true. Now, do you just go to certain manufacturers? It has to have boost in it or I won't wear it, which is the stuff. Just like there? white foamy stuff. So it's more comfortable. This is something oh. else. You know what you should do is set up a relaxing chair in here and then mm. just... Like a bean bag? Yeah, and then you, when you, you uh, do your drugs... Uh -huh. Come in here and <laughs> sit and look at your shoes. <laughs> You'd be going, oh, nice. you have a boost. <laughs> There's another place for shoes. Yeah, shoes everywhere. I'll be right back. Parents had to stop by doing that right now. And then I gotta draw some shit. Most of the day was just getting the shipping finished. Uh. Yeah. Ooh. Eddie, what is that? I don't know, rocks. The happy fries. Because I just had to clean out his bowl that had like mud in it. Oh, I got you. Rocks in the garbage disposal now. Who did that? Ernest. Who's Ernest? Who's Ern? What? You can't blame me. No, you're not blaming me for the vlog. I didn't do it. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to blame you for it, and I don't know if I should. No, it's not. I don't know. What, what is it? Let's see some evidence here. Like, what rocks? Where Oh, wait. Rocks? I'm showing the vlog. Hold on. What the fuck? Could a plant have gotten water that some of that fell out of? Um, I water the plants in the, the pots that they're in. <sighs> Alex's fault. That was a good Brandon. one. It might have been Teddy, though, because he did just, he dumped out Omar's water outside. There was a bunch of mud in it, and then he dumped that in the sink. Oh, baby. What's wrong, though? Is the thing not working? No, it's fine. It's she fine. She's just being a fucking ass fine. Dig out a bunch of, like, vegetables She had to put her hand in there and shit. dig a couple of rocks out. Blah, blah, blah. What if she lost her hand? That's not on. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the day is winding down. I have some drawing to do. I'm just gonna button some shit up. Everything is shipped from the drop. The drop was on Saturday. Everything is shipped. Today's Monday. If you missed the drop or you, you know, got lost or forgot, whatever, didn't know we made awesome clothing, there is some stuff left, which is not normal, but this is what I wanted. Friends and family being able to, the people who are really like die hard needed to get stuff, they got everything they need. General release didn't get everything. I know some people didn't get, um, some people 
definitely missed their shirt that they wanted. I think a lot more people copped that were able to, and there's still shirts still there. Like, not full size runs of anything. There's like a small here, an extra large here, medium there. Is stuff still available? Oh, it's teddy.com if you're interested. There's still sticker packs left. Not a lot. Prints, shirts, what have you. A lot more cool stuff coming. Friends and family, we extended you guys till Friday. Originally, you had till Tuesday to order, but now it's Friday. This week is kind of not that chill. I was going to say it was chill, but it's really not. It seems like we're probably going to go and try and look at cars. We're going to go today, but it looks like we're going tomorrow. Alex tried to buy a 1987 Honda Accord yesterday, which I'm not going to get into. We're not going to, I know some of you are diehard Honda fans, especially certain years. I get it. I, nostalgia is wonderful in some aspects. I'm not putting my body in a fucking car from the 1980s to drive around in and up a mountain. And, nor am I paying to fix it. I don't care how easy it is to fix or how well made it is. I'm not buying a car that I drove to high school. Same reason I'm not wearing Jordans that I wore to high school. Anyway, what I've been working on is future stuff, things like that, drawings. But uh, one thing that I said in the vlog a few weeks ago, maybe Canary, the camera company, the security cameras I use, project testing this new idea of designing on the casings itself. I don't even know if I'm really supposed to talk about this, but this is what I've been working on. I did like a first little like prototype. It was New York City inspired, but I just kind of did like the city in this sort of simplistic Keith Haring-ish looking way. I don't know. It's not the easiest. The process to do it by hand kind of sucks. Like this just smears. Smearing, smearing has been annoying and it's been really, really hard to do on this surface, but that's not how it would do in production anyway. I think they just wanted to see it. I may do another one, a second version with something completely different on it. I don't know. It's really not the easiest thing to uh, apply paint to. Oh, this is interesting too. So how I got it from sketch, so I sketched it and then I like made a copy of it. And then I did this little kind of color version color study that I wanted to use. And how I got it on here. This is a trick my, a lot of people might not know. If you need to transfer an image onto something else, you can take a graphite pencil, pencil, and then just the back of it like that. I did the idea, right? Did that all over the back so you can kind of see the markings. Yeah. And then I just taped it to this and wrapped it around and then used the ballpoint pen, traced over it again, which gave me a very light pencil tracing on canary itself and then I inked it. But this surface is not forgiving with the smudging. So there's ink and there's pencil and there's shit everywhere. They make something called Soral paper that does sort of the same thing. When you don't have Soral paper and you don't want to go to the art store, this works too. That's pretty much my day though. I finish all this stuff up, get my work done, and then uh, yeah, think about what fucking kind of car I guess I'm probably gonna have to buy. I don't love cars, but we're gonna need one. I kind of want a Volvo. I don't really even have a reason why. I just like Volvos. I drove one in high school. I drove a lot of cars in high school, but Volvos I like. I don't know, Volvo, Range Rover, Lexus, Tesla, some sort of SUV, Forerunner. I don't fucking know, man. Car buying, my dad sold cars. I hate this shit. And as far as uh, any new releases coming out, there really isn't anything that I've seen. I talk a lot of shit about people just going with hype and wanting to buy stuff to buy stuff. I don't like this light. But there's not a lot. Like there's just not been a lot of stuff that I've been interested in. There's a bunch of new models coming that are just kind of crazy. The new neighborhood collab is a bunch of shoes that are really expensive, like a Nikes and there's just a lot of weird moves being made. So I'm not gonna go into that today. On both sides, Adidas and Nike and you know, Under Armour and Vans and Converse don't even hit my radar. There are are two new mids that are coming. One, we didn't think we were gonna get any more Ultra Boost mids, so I'm kinda hype about that. Colorways are very reminiscent of other things, one being the Ronnie Feig Aspen. It looks like Ronnie Feig Remix, because it just has kind of looks like teal just kind of stitched in instead of maybe white. I didn't really look at it that close. And then another kind of cotton candy-ish colorway, but I love mids, so they're probably cops for me, but again, you know, they're cops for me because I'm a fan. As far as sneaker culture and the desire for it to always be pushed forward and new, 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 it's nothing new. Also, I don't think anyone is doing anything new. I'll say it again, we're kind of in like a lull of the culture, even the stuff that Kith is doing right now that I'm a fan of is very uh, Bort 90s jock douchebag. You know, I just don't like it. So it's okay. You don't have to like everything that people that you like do all the time. I don't hate them because they're now currently doing something I don't like because I do like this other stuff. You know, I have the stuff that I do like here. And there's a little stuff sprinkled in, peppered in. We used to talk about how things were peppered into the shoe and now the shoes are just peppered in. It's just the way world works. I'm gonna get out of here. That's the day. I think you've been up. Omar's finally sleeping. Omar. You had enough frisbee for the day? 
Uh -huh. But all right, that's the day. I'm out of here. Love you guys. Friends and family, thank you guys so much. It's closed. The next public drop after this won't be for a while. Uh, I don't even know. Probably not until uh, the end of the end of next month or something. Middle of the next month, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, love you guys. Peace. <laughs>